Okay. Here we go. You got a fan cart here. Okay. Now. Which which way is this fan cart being forced? In a positive or negative direction? Positive. Which way, what is the direction of acceleration based upon your reading? Talk to your neighbor. What do you say? Direction of acceleration in this example would be positive. Why? Because the direction of force determines the direction of acceleration. The direction of force is in the same direction as acceleration. What is the direction of the acceleration in that example? Tell your neighbor. Tell them why. Okay, Newton's second law says this. Force is equal to mass times acceleration. Does mass have a direction? No, it's a scalar. Okay, does force have a direction? Yes, it's a vector. This is vector notation in math class, okay? So the direction of force, this doesn't have a direction. Does it make sense that the force and acceleration have to have the same direction? This is negative. This has to be. This mass isn't going to be negative, right? Does that make sense? So if this is negative, this also has to be negative. If this is positive. This has to be positive. The direction of force is determined. Sorry, the direction of acceleration is determined by the direction of the force. The force causes an object to experience acceleration in that same direction. You can take that to the bank. Okay. Talk to your neighbor. Tell them why. What happened? Broken wire on the Solid. Thank you, sir. Okay. What do you say? Okay, so 
She is going in the positive direction. Okay, slowing down. What would have to be the direction of the force to cause her to slow down? In the same direction of motion or the opposite direction of motion? Opposite direction of motion. That makes sense? So the direction of acceleration is also negative. Get that. Oops. Try that one out. Tell your neighbor. Okay, let, let me let me just throw this out at you. I don't care about the direction of force that the boat is doing causing what i care about is the direction of force acting on the boat okay so what would cause the boat to speed up that force i don't care about the force that the boat is doing i don't know that might have been messing with you it may or may not have Correct answer is nobody. Okay. Ready? Boat's going this way. Speeding up. The direction of the force that would cause that to speed up would be which way? In the same way or in the opposite way of motion? In the same way as the motion, right? If you're going this way, the direction of, and you're speeding up, the force has to be going the same way. If it's going the opposite way, what would happen? It would slow down. Okay, there's a force on the boat this way. Not what the boat's doing. Don't care about what it's doing to the water. What I care about is the force on the boat. Good with that. So the direction of acceleration is also in the negative direction. Sorry, I'm trying to get caught by the camera. Okay. Negative. All right, there are two different ways to determine the direction of acceleration. First is based off of Newton's second law. The direction of the force is always equal to the direction of acceleration. This is always. You can take that to the bank. The direction of force is always equal to the direction of acceleration. All right. There's a second way by looking at the motion. If you are speeding up, then the direction of acceleration is in the same direction 
as velocity. And the direction of acceleration is in the same direction as velocity. And if you're slowing down, then the direction of acceleration is in the opposite direction as velocity. If it's slowing down, then the direction of acceleration is in the opposite direction of velocity. One looks at the force. This is what causes, physically causes acceleration. The direction of, and then this is looking at the motion, kind of just looking at the clues, trying to figure this out. Here is, I, I mentioned this in the pre-quiz, do not associate positive acceleration with uh, speeding up. Do not associate negative acceleration with slowing down. This is why I hate the word decelerate. Okay. It is true only half the time. So don't flip a coin and say like, eh. okay. This is how you figure out the direction of acceleration. Okay. These two should always correspond with each other. If they don't, something in your brain is like, needs fixed. Good? So let's, let's revisit this. So the bicycle, she's going in the positive direction and slowing down. Okay, the force that would cause her to slow down would be in the opposite direction of motion. That's also the direction of acceleration. She's moving in the pause direction, slowing down. Therefore, the direction of acceleration is going to be the opposite direction of the way she's moving. The direction, the way the object is moving will determine the, the sign of velocity and displacement. But the sign of acceleration is determined by the sign of the force. Okay. Then this one, we are speeding up in the negative direction. Okay, if you're speeding up, then the sign of acceleration is the same as velocity. So negative acceleration. Okay, with that, the force that causes that is in that same direction as it's moving. Good. This is kind of like the, the moral of the story of today. Okay. Is, uh, is Bugs Bunny still a thing in you guys' childhood? That, like, at some point, your childhood evaporates over time. Like, I don't know what that's talking about. Tell your neighbor, tell them why. <laughs> Correct answer is? Correct answer is A. We're going in the negative direction and we're slowing down. What would the force acting on it to slow down? The opposite direction of motion. 
So negative force, negative acceleration. We're slowing down, moving in the negative direction. Therefore, acceleration is going to be the opposite direction, opposite sign of velocity. Positive. Good. Okay. This next question is challenging. Have a conversation. Tell them why you think so. What do you say? Ooh. Ooh. All right. So let's talk. Um, okay. They're going in opposite directions. The way they're going is the direction of velocity. Okay. Not necessarily the direction of acceleration. Okay, this can tell us the direction of acceleration. This can also tell us the direction of the force, but it cannot tell us the way we're moving necessarily. Okay, the stallion is going faster than the mare. The stallion has a greater acceleration than the mare. But do you remember the first question we were doing about acceleration? We had a bicycle versus a car. Which one had a greater acceleration? Bicycle. But which one which one was going faster? The car. So just because something has a greater acceleration doesn't necessarily mean it's moving faster. <clears throat> moving faster corresponds to where, what number the speedometer is pointing to. The greater acceleration tells you how quickly your speedometer is moving, changing. Does that make sense? So B, out. C obviously is out. 
D. Um, Stalin is slowing down and the mare is speeding up. Maybe. But it's not definitive. Bulls could be slowing down. Bulls could be speeding up. Heck, Stalin could be speeding up and the mare could be slowing down. We don't know. The only thing you can, can conclude from this statement is the direction of the force acting on the mare and the stallion. The force acting on the stallion is in the negative direction. The <laughs> force acting on the mare is in the positive direction. That's all you can conclude. The rest of that stuff, maybe, but it's not definitive. Good. Learn some stuff. Okay. Give that one a shot. Talk to your neighbor. Tell them why. Uh, that, that would be rough. <laughs> that would be rough. Okay, correct answer is? Okay. Tell me how you'd move to make this graph. You're slowing down, moving in the negative direction. Okay, if you're slowing down, moving in the negative direction, what is the sign of acceleration? It has to be the opposite because you're slowing down, opposite of velocity, sign of velocity is negative, therefore you have a positive acceleration. Okay. Mathematically, what on a velocity versus time graph tells us something about acceleration? The slope. What is the sign of the slope? Positive. A. Good at that. A little insight in this class. Acceleration versus time graphs will always be horizontal lines. Okay. Next question. Tell your neighbor. Tell them why. Okay. 
Correct answer is C. Correct answer is C. Okay. How are you moving to make the orange one? You're slowing down in the positive direction. If you're slowing down, moving in the positive direction, your, your sign of acceleration is negative. It's in the opposite direction of the velocity. What are you doing for the make the purple? Speeding up in the negative direction, therefore the sign of acceleration is the same as velocity. Negative. You know they have the same values because the slopes are parallel. Both are negative slopes. Good. Correct answer is correct answer is C. Here we go with that. Speeding up really quickly. Steep slope. CJ. Very perfect. All right. Good with that? Okay. We've got a lab that we're going to start today. Um, so we're going to be dealing with using the motion detectors and fan carts today. Okay. Um,